Well, viewers, welcome back. We are now on an unknown episode number, because I think we are on episode 16, but don't quote me on that. Today, I am going to do something very, very different. We have got field 37 ready to harvest. We have all the grass that needs some level of attention, whether it be being cut or whether it being fertilised, um, and we're going to do none of it. Well, I we might put an AI worker on the grass, but we're not going to do the harvest because I am going to go nuts. And I mean literally nuts. I am going to buy a nut field. We're going to harvest the nuts and we're going to see exactly what we get from it. We have viewers who are adamant nuts are the game changer. I don't believe they are. And whilst I think Robert has proven this, I am also going to prove it. So today, it's time to go nuts. I have made an agreement with Robert that once I have done this field, I am selling the land. I am not keeping it. And I think, let's have a look. We're not going to choose the one that he had. So we will choose this one, which is the highest value. So I'm hoping that means it's got the most amount of nuts on it. Although I haven't said that, this one does seem to have more trees. Let's go for that one, um, because, like I said, it has more trees, or it looks like it has more trees. Okay, so we've done that. Now before we start, obviously the natural thing is we're going to have to do the greenhouse to make sure that's sticking over. Uh, that needs water. And this one needs fertilizer. That didn't take too much. So my plan is when we're doing nuts, I'm going to roughly see how long in real time, you won't get to see that concept because a lot of this will be time lapsed or it will be cut. However, I am going to see roughly how long it takes us to do the nuts. This might be an exceptionally small episode, who knows, because again, there's only so much of what we need to see before it gets boring. But I do suspect it's going to take us a full episode to do that set of trees. I don't know how... Um, what equipment we need. There should be. Oh, there is, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what equipment we need. We'll get that, and then we will, in terms of selling them, see what we need for that. Now, Robert believes we need to buy a specific farm, and I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out, but we'll cross that bridge a little bit nearer the time. So just for a point of reference, I've been recording currently for five minutes and we are 30 minutes into the game time. So for every 
10 minutes of real time is roughly an hour of game time. Which makes sense being 6x speed. So whilst I'm keeping track of the real time, you can hopefully keep a bit of track of that by watching the, the clock in the top corner. Right, so we have that done. Um, let me put this down. I suspect we will need the trailer because we will need to empty the nut into this. I don't believe we can get the full field done in just the nut harvester. But again, I could be wrong. Now I am sure I could probably have cut the field through the farm, but because this field is ready to harvest, I don't want to risk driving over any of it. And because I've put the two coffee factories in, that might also have an impact. So, is it through here? Yeah, maybe it wasn't the best way in. So, I think we brought this one to the right. We'll leave that there. They are chestnuts. We will buy the soil data in the hope that that will increase that 59%. So it's 82% out of a possible 125. I wonder if we would spray fertilizer and lime on that, would that change? You know what? Let's go find out. Today is about exploring. Yeah, I think I might struggle to get back to the farm this way. Can I sneak through there? Oh, I can. Excellent. I can't do it very well, but, you know. So, as per the rules, we have up until midnight to, uh, to compete in. If I need to go to midnight, I will go to midnight. Whilst I don't like doing stuff in the dark, it might be needed. Okay, so... Does this have lime in it? It does. I'm not sure if I can get rid of the lime though, can I? Uh, I can put it in bags. You're going to probably find that because I'm talking so much at the minute, I'm going to leave all this in. I think I don't plan to do a great deal of editing it down. But again, we're 10 minutes in, so that might change quite suddenly. So there's the line going on. And if you remember that top corner, it was 82%. Okay, so we're now up to 86%, so it has increased. So we put the fertilizer on. Now I do know that we don't have any fertilizer on the farm. We can't use liquid fertilizer in this spray because those booms won't go through the trees. Okay, so while we're here, we will buy the fertilizer and we will also buy the appropriate equipment for chestnuts. I very much doubt anything will be in here for chestnuts. There is fertilizer though. Ooh. That's a steal. Excellent. Both say uh, chestnuts. That's nut. That's hazel. But they're both chestnut. Uh, 
Right. We'll get that one anyway. What have I done wrong? Do I need... Oh, is this a front loader attachment? Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Step one. Wake up, brother, go and rise in the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Okay, so it doesn't look like the fertilizer is going down, which probably means it's too late. That's a bit of a shame. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it repetition. Okay, well, we are now here. Let's see how we get on. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 I know Robert had a few issues with this. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Some life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and die from the day. It is. Quarter to the hour in my actual time. Let's begin with that now as being the start time. Yeah, so I'm a fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation. Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation. I know that I like to do it cause of sensation. I live my life in my head like a narration. Don't expect greatness, do my best, man. I'll take it. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Okay, so we're a little over 15 minutes in. We still have just under half the field, I guess. I figured out that if I leave the thing running, occasionally when you're getting close to it, it will take the chestnuts down, which is good. And then there are some trees that take quite some time. Okay, so this is our last tree, and we are 25 minutes into doing this. Let us see what we've got in the trailer. So it looks like a little over 5,000 litres or kilograms. Not sure. Um, yeah, five thousand two hundred and fifty-eight kilograms. 
Now I do not know what yield Robert got from his crop because he did this field tower left. Okay, so the time saving stock check should now tell us roughly what we've got. So for 25 minutes ish work, uh, we'll ignore the liming and we'll ignore the time for having on getting the equipment. Just get the chestnuts. Currently they are selling at £2,000, I assume per thousand litres, because that's gone in as litres there. And at top price they're selling at 3200 So if we were to sell them at the best month, we would get 17000 for essentially, let's say for easy math, 30 minutes work. And that works out roughly £566 per minute of time used, which for me doesn't sound ideal. And if we were rounding that up to an hour, that's 34,000 per hour. And we are roughly five hours game time into it. Now, bear in mind, we we roughly leave about the between the 5 and 8 p.m. mark, so I could do another 30 minutes worth of real time. And that would get us that one hour. So we're essentially looking at 34,000 per episode of doing nuts. I don't think it's a massive win. To create that, um, coffee wise, have we, um, right, well, this will reset at 1 pm. I'm going to assume we're getting roughly 2,000 litres per hour. That's game hour, and they're selling at 5,500. Yep, so 5,500 in a game hour. And what I say, we saw this roughly about 830 ish. Okay, so looking at this. The coffee on its own, roasted coffee, would get us 13,800 in the same time it took us to do the chestnuts. And that took all of what a few minutes to, to load up that greenhouse. So again, a couple of minutes, which means all that game time is available to do other stuff. Uh, we can have a look at the grass field and see what we will get for grass, because again, that's going to be my next job now, and I would imagine we will also get a lot more money out of the grass for the time used. So if anyone can tell me how we think these are profitable and a winning game changer, Please let me know because I don't think for the amount of time I've spent there, 30 minutes on that field, if we argue each field is roughly 30 minutes, there's one hour, there's two hours, there's three hours, and we only play an episode in about an hour and a half, two hours worth of real time maximum, and it tends to be on the, the side of one and a half hours. So at most, I could probably do two fields in an episode. So if we're looking at that, you're looking at 35,000 per episode. And these take about six months to eight months to come back to being ready again. So it's currently November, in game time. 
we will see when this field is ready to harvest. Yeah, all in all, I am not entirely satisfied that nuts are the way to go. I do very much hope that this episode has given Robert a good chance to pick up speed on the one episode that he wasted doing nuts. Okay, so getting back to where we left things last week, I'd started doing the uh, fertilising on the grass fields but it got too dark. We only have the one field left to do, so I thought I'd try and do this one in daylight hours, which we have a few hours left. So we'll crack on with this. Okay, so that's the grass fertilised. Two of those fields with a double application from last month and this month. And the first half field has had one application. It might well be that we keep this fertiliser for the crop fields rather than the grass. Uh, but it has improved the yield, so that should help. We will um, park this here for now because time is precious. I think, well first of all I should have tabbed rather than just run, we will cut the fields. At least some anyway, because I don't want to get the uh, silage bills on the go. Because the BG has dried up, the digestate is going down a lot faster than I thought it was. Last month it didn't seem it was using that much, this time I don't think we'll have enough to do all the crop fields when it comes around. So, for the most part, I feel like I am going to crop this down to just showing you the fields being cut. I feel like I've spent a lot of time doing nuts. I haven't quite edited yet. My plan wasn't to do a great deal of editing, a bit of time lapsing. However, the video recording so far is quite lengthy, and I'm just conscious that that means that by time lapsing this, it will draw the video out a little longer than I would like, uh, or my computer would like, shall I say. So yeah, my plan is to do as many grass fields as possible in the time left, and I may well just see you once that's done and it's time to end the episode. Who knows? So see you shortly. Okay, so I have cut and windrowed this one field, the same field you saw me on earlier, and I'm now baling it. You can see it is getting very dark very quick, and I do not like doing dark farming, 
So this will be the end of the episode once this is done. I am not planning to do the other grass fields at this stage. They will be done on the next episode now. Now what you haven't seen, uh, because I wasn't quick enough to hit the record button. Oh, I've puked that out, haven't I? Oh, crumbs. Okay, we'll get that later. Um, what you haven't seen, because I wasn't quick enough to get the record button, Mr. Scythe has just been to the petrol station and I decided to put a billboard right in front of him. I am hoping that makes his video cut. You will see that shortly if you haven't already just seen it. Uh, I will see that shortly when I come to watch this. So I am interested to see if he captured that one within his recording or not. Occasionally, like, like myself, we sometimes say we will see you at the destination point so he may not have got that in. But it did tickle me and it made me chuckle, if nothing else. I think what makes me uh, chuckle a little bit more is the fact that he's still driving to the petrol station. He has got quite the journey to get there. I don't know why, so I just put a diesel pump on his farm. Robert, if you're watching this, put a diesel pump on your farm. Okay, I'm going to finish building this, and then we'll wrap it here. Okay, so that's the last of the grass. I have missed a few little bits, but I can't see them. So, they will have to wait. At some point when this gets cut and windrowed again, I have no doubt we will pick them up then. I don't think I'm going to get this last bale out. So for now, we will leave that here. Now, my equipment does need repairing. And we're going to do that on the next episode. However, since we're in this neck of the woods, and just in case it doesn't quite make Robert's episode, I'm going to go and show you the billboard. That said, we are done for the day. I have tried something different with the chestnut. I have wanted to try that, um, just out of pure interest. It's a feature of this map. It was interesting. It was a bit slow, a bit tedious. However, it was something different to do. Uh, like I said, I don't think they're the money maker but there was something new and interesting, so if you haven't done something like that, I certainly would recommend giving it a go, just for a change of pace. Uh, however, in a competition, they're not the way forward. Like I said, it was a little bit brighter, and just as Robert was pulling out, that billboard popped right up in front of him. So hopefully, it made his cut. So for those who have been watching, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye for now.